Hey YouTube, it's the Home Cinema Engineer, and I'm back with a update video for you guys. This one's going to be kind of short, but I just wanted to let you guys know that I haven't gone anywhere. I'm still trying to commit to at least one video a month. Yeah, so some of you may notice that I still have the blue painter's tape up over there, and along the entire perimeter. Uh, that's because when I was trimming this out, I didn't do the best job. Um, you can still kind of see some streaks and the white wall behind it. So I just got to touch that up real quick. Won't take terribly long. And um, I'm trying to decide on finalizing up the designs for my uh, acoustic treatments I'm going to be doing. I still need to determine whether I'm going to build four or six of them, three per wall or two per wall, and whether or not they're going to be your standard rectangular um, absorbers or if they're going to be the rounded like half moon shape um, diffusers. Uh, so I've been doing a lot of research on that. So I've been waiting for um, my Dolby Atmos speakers to come in. I finally ordered a pair about three weeks ago maybe and they finally came in. I ordered four of them. So I'm going to show you those real quick. So here they are. I bought two sets of the KEF uh, CI-130ER speakers. So I'll have a total of four Dolby Atmos speakers. All right, so let's uh, open them up. the uh, cutout circle if you were going to be installing these in the ceiling which I won't for this uh, particular theater but for my next uh, home I will definitely be putting them inside the ceiling so, come with the grills of course magnetic So this, of course, being KEF, that's the same kind of uh, design they're known for. The UniQ driver, so that's just simply the tweeter with the mid-range driver surrounding it. So this mid-range driver moves independently of the tweeter, of course. And this also acts as a waveguide for the uh, tweeter. So here they are, all unboxed, and the specs on these guys are as follows. 8 ohm impedance, 87 decibel sensitivity, frequency response, uh, 52 hertz to 20,000 kilohertz. That's with a open backed design, which I will not be um, putting these in the ceiling, so that's going to change the lower frequency response a little bit. The driver size unit is about a little over half an inch for the tweeter right here. And the overall driver itself is five and a quarter. Yeah, they're very nicely designed. I'm very happy with the quality. And uh, because I'm going to be building my own enclosure for this, I might just end up unscrewing this right here. And I think this part detaches from the white frame. So I can just stick this in my enclosure I make for them and they'll be very uh, sleek and you won't really notice it. And then when I move into the forever home, I can uh, just attach it back and then pop these in the ceiling. Yeah, so I'm quite excited that these arrived and I got a really, really good price on them. I'm excited to build the enclosure and get them installed and recalibrate my system and finally be able to hear what true uh, Dolly Atmos sounds like in my theater. I'll have a 7.2.4 uh, system when this is all done. And of course, I will um, make a video when that uh, happens. And I'm thinking maybe 
doing a AB comparison, my 7.2 setup versus my 7.2.4. Um, this kind of may be a, a moot point because you're not really going to be able to experience it and the difference without being here. But if I set up a pair of my condenser mics in a in the right fashion, I might be able to give you at least kind of a, an idea of the difference. Or I can pull out calibration mics and do an AV comparison with just frequency response. So I got lots of ideas for future videos. Just kind of let me know down in the comments what you want to see. So in the next video, um, you might just see me building in time lapse and going over my design for the enclosures for all four of these guys they're all going to be separate enclosures and um i'll kind of go through the installation process again mostly in time lapse and i'll just try to take you guys along for the ride for all my uh upgrades and uh, updates to this theater so i'm not sure if anyone would be interested since this projector has been out for i think two or three years now my epson 5040 ub but if you are interested in a review on it, let me know by uh, thumbsing up the video and just telling me in the comments. Because honestly, the improvements that they made in the 5050 and the 6050 aren't going to be a night and day difference. And you especially wouldn't notice them unless they were side by side. And the value on this thing is very good for the money and it may have gone down in price or may go down in price. Thanks again for watching and please like and subscribe and hit the bell notifications to be notified when the next video drops. Thanks guys.